For a while, I thought PTSD was just an idea, but it consumes you if you allow it. When I enlisted into the military, the first thing I wanted to do is be a SEAL sniper. Part of the reason why I enlisted was because of 9-11. I felt like if I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna contribute to keeping the country safe. My parents are immigrants, they came from Mexico. My father started his own business. My mom has a good job, they bought their home. They gave us a life that they didn't have. So when the attacks happen, it's like, okay, I'm putting everything before me. I uh, qualified to go to BUDS, but I never went. I got injured in October 19 of 2004. I got run over by a jet on the flight deck of a carrier, and that's when, literally, you could say my dreams were crushed. By the time I had my final surgery, I ended up with 46 surgeries with three amputations. I got out a year and a half later. At the time, I knew I had PTSD. I just didn't believe it. I thought it was like misdiagnosed or something. So when I went back home, I went straight to work. So I didn't have that transition problem. Two years after is when my PTSD finally like flared out to the fullest. We're trained to adapt and overcome and, you know, defeat the enemy, but you're definitely not trained to allow yourself to be vulnerable, to feel hurt, to go request for help. It's been challenging to find what's wrong and how can we help you. I'm the wife. <laughs> and living with somebody that takes a lot of medication, he was just a different Jose. So I spent so much time in life being angry at God versus redirecting my question in the form of why am I still here? What use do you have for me? And then that's when I was introduced to hand cycling. And within four or five, six months, I do my first challenge ride from Chicago to Detroit on a bike. And that's when I met John. When I started getting involved, it gave me a confidence that like, two legs aren't required to live life. I'm coming in getting my scans done for the first time. So I'm still like, ooh, like, I'm so excited to see what's going on in my brain because I don't even know what's going on in my brain. That's what's so different about his approach is like, okay, let's see what's going on in your mind that will make your own recipe so you can feel like your counseling, your efforts are successful. Yeah, sure, you'll probably hurt a little bit because you're processing it again, but at least you're processing it to let go. A lot of us feel unheard, misunderstood. Even if you don't have PTSD, put yourself in a situation where maybe you've been at some point in your life been misunderstood or where you wanted to be heard but you weren't, it's no different. Take the time to listen, 